Hey Capricorns, welcome to your reading. I was doing the get ready with me video and the thinking out loud video and I thought come on I've got to give them what they actually came for so I'm giving you guys your reading. The August readings are already out so feel free to check them out. See what's going on sacrifice you guys may always feel like you're having to sacrifice i feel like this is more like i've had it up to here i've had it up to here of sacrificing myself i'm not going to do it anymore i feel like you're about to go through this change here okay um and a good change because i feel like you've sacrificed yourself enough and that's what you're saying here enough Enough of self-sacrificing. Follow it, Capricorn, here. Especially if you're um, a December Capricorn. Enough is enough. That's what I'm feeling. Let's see. Prosperity begins. The minute you say enough is enough, that seed that you planted now starts to reap the reward. It starts to bear fruit here. Okay, so this can be... Maybe you planted a seed in somebody's head to reach out and text you. That's what can be coming in here, communication. But something's about to end. I feel like if you've had no communication, that's about to end. There's about to be communication come in. If you've had no job, that's about to end. There's now a job offer about to come in. And that card jumped out really quickly here. Um, past life relationship, you have known each other before. So... If you don't know them, it'll feel like you know this person who's going to reach out to you here, okay? Um, the connection's going to be amazing. You may already know that you've shared past lives with them, this connection. If you don't know it, it's because you're just about to meet them with this Ace of Wands here. The minute you're like, this is it. This is what I was waiting for. This is the one. This is this is what I knew was coming. I've known you all along. I know your soul. That sort of energy. Like you'll be talking for hours here and it'll be beneficial. It'll be beautiful. It'll be lovely here. It, it's like something growing and beginning. I mean, look at this. All the hard work you've done, you know, you finally get to see the reward. There's no more sacrifice in yourself. There's, you're just left with this beautiful connection. So, Seven of Swords. If you think, okay, it's not going to happen for me, it's happening for everybody else, you're deceiving yourself and you're quite um, down on yourself or you're having some negative thoughts at the moment here with the Seven of Swords, that's maybe about low self-esteem. We're not doing this Capricorn. You're going to pick yourself up, okay? No more self-sacrificing. I feel like with, this is more like you dimming to fit in. So don't do it. Don't dim to fit in, Capricorn. Shine like the beautiful stars you are, okay? Um, it might be because you're used to people lying to you or trying to cheat you out of something that maybe you don't believe that this prosperity is coming, but it is. So just please, please trust it. Um, yeah, five of cups here. So some of you um, will hear from somebody who you're missing. They are now missing you. Um, they may have been lying to you before. They could have said to you, I don't miss you. I don't want you. And then they message you like, huh, can't miss you. So it's like somebody going back on their words. Um, and this could be the person you had this past life connection with. It could be this unfinished business. They're coming back in now. Ace of Wands here with a Five of Cups. They'll communicate, I miss you. Um, I think if that's the case and you've waited a long time for them and they did cheat or lie to you, um, you may just say, that's great, um, but I'm not willing to sacrifice myself anymore. I'm not going to put myself in a position where I think of myself last. Queen of Cups could be um, a water sign here. Um, finally messaging, saying I miss you. They got in their feelings during cancer season. If it is a water sign, could be any of the signs, but I'm just letting you guys know here. They was definitely thinking about you and missing you during Mercury retrograde. I feel like if they didn't reach out then, 
they will now. Now's a better time to reach out rather than during Mercury retrograde. Um, but just make sure their actions follow their words, okay? Five of Pentacles, yeah, because I feel like some of you could, um, because of this connection, this love, this feeling here, um, feeling as one person, you could end up out in the cold again. Five of Pentacles and Five of Cups here. This is challenges in the relationship department. I feel like brought on by somebody's lies or lying to yourself, right? Um, obviously, we have cross watchers, so the message is always for the watcher. No need to say it's the Capricorn or whatever. Take it how it resonates with you. Um, but... If you feel sacrificing yourself um, will help things to work out, bring this person in, help them to stay with you, um, you'll find yourself out in the cold again. So don't dim, okay? Be who you are. No more sacrificing yourself. Enough is enough. Four of Wands. Look at this. This new beginning, this opportunity that you have. I feel like it's going to break off into two sections here. Um, 11, 11. So some of you are just waking up and you're just going through this lies and deception and this tower moment, this ending um, and wanting communication because you feel the connection between you both um, that you just can't let go of. And some of you have been on this um, path a long time and the person is now missing you and wanting to come in and communicate. I miss you. I want to start again with the four of wands here. The choice is going to be yours. We all have free will, right? So the choice is going to be yours now coming towards you here. Let's see. Six of pentacles. They are wanting to be more fair with you. And please do remember, if you're just going through this, um, I, I, maybe this isn't for you. I do do personal readings and my email will be in the description box as always, along with what information I use regarding cards. The six is related to the lovers here. So we have this new beginning with the lovers, but I feel... Um, for some of you, this can indicate somebody started a new relationship. They was given to more than one person and they left your relationship to be start a new relationship with somebody else and left you out in the cold, missing them. OK, if that's the case, I feel like you're still wanting this new beginning with them, but their energy is not invested in you yet. OK, that's if you're just going through it now. If you have been going through this a while, I feel like the decision is in your hand. Judgment. Um, yeah, make a good judgment. The, the choice is yours. Um, it's like now's the time. So this is why I feel like it's split off into two because um, it's either something that's just happened or it's now the time of the reckoning, like now's the time to sort this out decision is yours do you accept them um are you fully healed have you let go of this karmic situation you know things like that king of swords so for some of you it could be a twin flame that you're dealing with um others of you it'll be um an air sign some of you need to consult people with more information than you like a lawyer um doctors and things like that maybe even a spiritual advisor okay just somebody with more information about the situation than you the lovers yeah so it's a very strong connection you have with this person i guess this is why it's so difficult to let go of but it's like a carrot being dangled in front of your face here you're experiencing challenges with this soulmate connection with the seven of swords and the lovers here Oh, that doll just frightened me. Banging. <laughs> yeah, it could be a Gemini for some uh, that's coming into your life here that you're just about to meet. And um, you may be scared to love them because of past history here. But 
the only way we'll know is if we try again so you got an extra card as well and we have the knight of wands and the five of wands so if they came back in the retrograde they may leave you again cause an argument and get the hell out of dodge right um don't know why i said that don't know what dodge is <laughs> but this is like the knight of wands as quick as they come they'll leave very quickly this usually happens in the retrograde that's why i advise against getting back together during this time um if people are coming towards you and being very argumentative not to worry this will pass just as quickly as it started okay i feel like the mars energy is really vamped up for you right now so people are coming in and it's like want to talk to you want to communicate with you um but some people are very argumentative right now so good luck guys <laughs>